Well, it's not quite spring, but one local wildlife rescue says they're already getting flooded with calls about abandoned baby animals. You see that one? That includes these adorable baby otters. And ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane explains the best thing to do if you come across what looks like to be an abandoned baby animal. I know you want to chew on me. Such an otter. These four baby otters are a group of castaways. Ginger was the first, and she is a prima donna. Gilligan came next, then we have Skipper in there, and Marianne is the little one. These babies all found separately around the Bay Area were abandoned and alone. We get a lot of abandoned because of car hits usually. We've had several wandering up to people, which usually means either they got lost or mom is gone. Owl's Nest Sanctuary for Wildlife is one of the only baby otter rehabs in the area. Last year they had nine, this year they're expecting more. This is a very uh, exciting time, but it's also a lot of anxiety because we are donation based. They go through fish like you've never seen. Chris Porter says though they're extremely cute, otters, even babies, can be vicious. Hi. I would rather pick up a baby bobcat than go pick up a baby otter. Porter tells us if you see a baby animal that looks abandoned, you should look and listen for a mother because she's probably nearby, especially birds, because they learn to fly from the ground up. They drop to the ground like bowling balls, and they actually are on the ground up to two weeks not flying. Also, it's illegal to rescue and care for a baby animal without a license. You should never, ever pick up any baby. Porter says to call FWC or Owl's Nest and leave it to the experts. <laughs> In Hillsborough County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.